Hi guys, so for today I thought I'd do a, a studio, art studio slash corner tour and show you basically where I do my art, drawing, painting and all that stuff. So I'm going to start first in this little corner in our dining area. This is uh, basically just where I do uh, my sketching and drawing. So it's really simple, very small and it's right beside a window. That's why I like it. This was my daughter's old spot, but because I wanted the, the window, so I switched with her. So, to start off here at the table. So, just a, a basic table from Walmart. And here, I have the pencils. Oh, turn on the light. Oh, maybe not. The pencils that I use. And uh, this is where I have my... Right now, that's where I'm doing my barg drawing, and right behind it are uh, the pens that I have that I use all the time. So my um, platinum fountain pens, Muji, Muji brush pens, and the uh, Faber Castell pit pens. mechanical pencil and pencils pencil that I use for the for the bark the bark uh, book that I'm working on and uh, what is this uh, just some random new pastels I guess and this is just paperwork it has nothing to do with art so <laughs> right here I have uh, my watercolor brushes and in this corner are my Jane Davenport acrylic paints. Uh, just a color wheel, color wheel that I did. Karen Dosh new colors. Some pastels. My Daniel Smith uh, watercolor, which is like my favorite. Let me see if I can open it. This is the Earth Tones, I believe. Oh, sorry. Can't open it. And then I just filled the rest with uh, some other Daniel Smith uh, two paints. And what else is here? My Kujaku ink. What's here? Oh, the Speedball ink. And that's about it. What's here? Uh, the master's brush here. Yep. And uh, this corner, my blow dryer, and just some random, some more random art stuff. I think blow dryer for when I do watercolor to dry the paper. And let me see if I can take that out. I'll just some. Uh, some random stationary stuff like uh, pen pencils, sorry, big markers, white paints. Yep, what else is here? A uh, jelly plate that I haven't used yet. So, so we'll go in this corner where. I have my, uh, I think everyone has is my Ikea, the Ikea rolling cart. So start off first layer, uh, color pencils and brushes for calligraphy, I guess, uh, watercolor too maybe, I think. Uh, Bingo markers, this is great for our, our journaling. Uh, some more in there, some more markers, and I think those are Muji pens. I don't know if you can see. Anyways, so second level uh, is uh, acrylic paints. Most of these are from the dollar store and Walmart. I really love this brand. This is also what I use for art journaling but the folk art from Walmart it's a really great brand 
uh, Copic markers and uh, Artist Loft markers and these are my Tombows. Yeah. This is a flower my daughter made me. And here uh, little charcoals, different sizes. Uh, calligraphy ink, a glass holder, and these are also more ink. So the Higgins, uh, just a cheap one I got from the dollar store. This is a manuscript fountain pen ink, speedball pen cleaner. Calligraphy ink. Oh, uh, these are yeah. The, the, this ones are the Windsor Newton inks. I love these things. They're really great to put in uh, uh those water brushes. All right, and right here, uh, Liquitex. Gesso modeling paste. Uh, this is a Curry's matte medium. Krylon workable fixative. My fountain pen um, cartridges. Yep. Uh, tacky glue. Is this uh, masking fluid that I never use and the tri art clear gesso this is great i like that one all right and that is um so let's see just uh some washi tape here and a book holder and that's just a empty box for my ink and then these are just some old cards that I use uh, to apply gesso and these are uh, uh, drawing paper I think for some of them and just some letters and receipts and here all the Daniel Smith uh, dot card that I haven't tried yet so here are some sketchbooks and uh, watercolor pads, I think. Yep. Okay. And this is my uh, foy watercolor. Ooh, let me see. Watercolor palette. Uh, parchment paper. More. Drawing pads and sketchbook there. And here, this is like a Christmas gift, I believe, from my younger sister. I haven't tried all of them yet, so. Maggie, old magazine, and some sketches that I have. And these are. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Sorry right, guys, I hope you're not getting dizzy. Ooh, it's my foot. <laughs> yeah, so just some extra uh, stationary stuff as well. Uh, watercolor, water brushes, sorry. Pens. Here's the mannequin. Yep, and some single G marker, another mannequin, and this one here. Um, palettes. This one the bottles. Uh, these are the brushes I use for my uh, water soluble uh, oil paints, and these are the. water soluble water mixable sorry water mixable oil colors that I use which is uh, artisan I don't really use it that much but um 
they're quite handy to have anyway. Yeah, so they're all artisan, I believe, yeah. And tea palettes. Oh, and that's uh, just an empty box for my uh, Holbein gouache, which are all here actually. I don't know if I showed that, but here, this has all, I put them in uh, airtight containers. My Holbein gouache, which I ordered from Amazon Japan, I think, because I don't know if you can get this here in Canada, this, this type of gouache. And then also here I have some, oh, these are just the watercolor. And the, the, oh, like the Daniel Smith uh, in a tube that I put on my palette that I showed you guys earlier. This is, oh, and this is a, but this is a Cotman one, not, not Daniel Smith. Because I really wanted to have a purple one, so I couldn't find one in stock for some reason for the for the Daniel Smith. So, uh, what? Are, okay, now back here. Uh, the artisan linseed oil. Oh yeah, these are all for the water soluble oil paint thinner and the uh, fast drying medium. Uh, oil pastels. This oil pastels from the dollar store is so amazing. But unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore. But yeah, so good. And I think that's those just empty boxes. And then all. Yep. All right. So now we're here in our basement. <laughs> it's really. Uh, messy as you can see but i actually kind of like it like this um we had a flooding issue a while back so after everything was fixed um i told my husband not to bother fixing the floor because uh i wanted my uh oil painting area to be here so i'm not scared to uh, to spill stuff on it so we just left it as is that's why it looks like that so this part here is my um sewing area and there my husband's workout equipment so i'm just gonna focus here on this section um okay so uh easel with a, a canvas a small canvas that i just uh, did the imprimatura on and then this is the shadow box uh with just uh it's like a still life right now but i'm not even sure if i'm gonna stick with that i'm just i just want something basic so basically that's the setup and the shadow box is so easy to actually construct it's just basically um uh that drawer with another uh with a uh, tv table and i put a uh okay this car it's cardboard it's a cardboard box that i just took out one side on and then i put a a tablecloth over it and then the lighting is just a, a lamp that you clip on that i got at walmart so and this is another rolling cart that i use for oil painting but this one i got from michael so these are the brushes and this one has a the odorless mineral spirit that i just used this is my palette my dirty palette <laughs> that i've been using for a while and this has the raw umber that I just used for for the imprimatura for that one so this one is uh, has a odorless mineral spirit to clean my brushes so this is the one that has the the coil at the bottom and this one uh, I think this had the oh my gosh the oil my medium I'm having a brain fart right now. The walnut oil, sorry. <laughs> so that brush is just drying and my oil paints are here. 
just different brands. Uh, Windsor Newton. I also have um, a lot of the Winton, like the student grade and artist grade and all that good stuff. Uh, what's this one? M, M. Graham, yeah. So it's different brands, like I said. M. Graham too. And this one I started off when I first started oil painting just with the dealer Rowney. Super cheap oil paints that you can get uh, anywhere pretty much. Okay, and that is it. So I hope you guys are not getting dizzy. So I'll start, not start off, but uh, I'll go to this section now. And this one just has some miscellaneous uh, oil painting supply, like uh, brushes, more brushes here. Uh, the Mona Lisa odorless paint thinner, which is uh, what I use instead of uh, turpentine, uh, drawing paper, some canvases, and here, walnut oil, walnut oil, that's I really love using that, and here, just markers. Here, another odorless paint thinner, Gambar, what I use for varnishing, and this one is the Walnut Orchid Medium, which dries a lot faster than the walnut oil. And I think that is about it. Alright guys, so that is it. I just thought I'd, I'd do a short studio studio tour just to show you guys where i do my art stuff <laughs> okay anyways thanks for watching and as always if you have any questions please uh feel free to ask in the comment section down below and uh yeah 